movie was like this. This movie is a disaster, guys. How do you ruin the Muppets? I honestly expected a lot more from this film, guys. I, I, I don't understand this. Why is it so complicated to make a good Muppets movie? Why? Why is it so difficult? Why? Why? <laughs> oh, oh, I had such high hopes for this. I was literally scrolling down my backlog on Disney Plus, and I was like, hmm, Muppets Most Wanted. <sighs> I've got an hour and 50 minutes or so. i got two hours or whatever. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's watch this 2014 PG Muppets Most Wanted movie. And let's answer the big question that was on my mind when I put it on my watch list. Is this film worth watching as a fan of the Muppets since I was eight years old? I am 27. I love the Muppets. I grew up watching Muppets a lot when I was younger. And I can guarantee you with utter certainty this is a disaster now let me explain something there are some good points there's some good elements to this film but is this worth watching as a fan of a lot of the original concepts of muppets no not really <sighs> The plot is basically very simple. The Muppets get entangled in an international crime thriller. That's the best way to sum it up without spoiling anything. Sorry for all the barking next door. My neighbor's dog is yelling at a freaking squirrel. <laughs> uh, fabulous cast including Tom Hiddleston, James McAvoy, Lady Gaga shows up, Rosh Lynch, uh... Tina Fey, Christopher Waltz, and many, many, many other celebrities show up. This is a great family, comedy-filled film, filled with musical moments. They, they put musical moments into a Muppets movie, which I, just, I don't know why, but they did. Uh, I love the line in this film, which sums up the entire film perfectly. It's a sequel, and sequels are never as good. And I'm like, you said it, because this movie is a just disaster it's an enjoyable film to watch once and maybe twice if you're drunk or high and then completely forget the songs were great dancing was amazing jokes were okay or average and the biggest lesson to learn in this film is that family belongs together which I'm pretty sure most people on planet earth have already figured that out negatives I don't know why I'm so excited to talk about negatives about Muppets movie, but I am. Because this movie hurts my head. <sighs> there are several over-the-top moments which led to me having to pause in some of the most ridiculous parts of this film. It This film is like an hour and 15 minutes long. I had to pause this movie at least like four or five, maybe six times because of some ridiculous scenes. And I'm just like, I don't want to finish this movie. But I wanted to see how stupid it could get or if it actually got better and it just kept going downhill. This is great for younger children that don't have a brain or, you know, care about anything illogical happening in the film. And this more than likely is going to bore younger audiences to sleep like me. Like me, while just talking about this film not only is enraging me, but it makes me want to take a nap. This movie, just talking about it, is boring. It, it, it just this movie is a bore fest uh, a lot of the screen time for a lot of the major a or b characters and muppets is given away and cut and this film focuses for whatever reason they decided to focus a lot on the c or d or e characters that most fans don't want to know about most fans don't care about a lot of the underdog muppets or characters and whatnot they're supposed to be the underdogs and you don't know all that much for a reason 
I don't understand why they thought they would think fans like me wanted to see more of all the other characters that we don't much care about. Like, we didn't ask for, need, or want to know a lot more backstory about all these other characters. Like, we want to see Kermit the Frog and Piggy and everybody else that we know and love, you know a lot about, in a movie. Like, if you want to do backstory and whatnot, make a spinoff film. Make a TV show about them. But don't dedicate an entire film about all these other characters that really most people don't care about, like me. Uh, this film has a lot of scenes where it just drags on. And there's also a lot of scenes that just have nothing to do with the major story. There's really no character development. There's no humor. There's no, like, fuzzy feeling that the Muppets normally give you. Uh, there's just some scenes that just exist for the plot to have to move forward, I guess, to get from one point to another. And there's nothing else happening, and it really bugs me. The film was also really self-aware that it actually has a lot of problems, and it never tries to band-aid them at all. It never tries to fix them, which leads to a lot of the humor just falling flat at times. And that's really bad for the fact that this is called Muppets. Like, the Muppets is supposed to make you laugh. Very few of the jokes in this film actually landed and I laughed at. And if I did laugh, there were some jokes that I laughed at. I'm just laughing because they were so over the top and so stupid. Not because they were funny. Uh, the villains are so, so obvious. They are so cookie cutter and clear from the very first ten minutes of the movie. And they're not original. They're not scary. And you knew that within the first like seven to ten minutes or whatever, that they were not going to win. They are not going to accomplish their evil mastermind plot. I will say, though, that the villains go about trying to accomplish their plot in a really great way. How they were trying to accomplish their villainous plot was good. But I knew that they weren't going to succeed. Because, like, they didn't try to hide them from the audience. And that was a really big problem. And then the last negative I want to talk about is that the wart that is used as the main plot device in this film was dumb. It was a really weak plot device. A wart was the difference between Kermit the Frog and the villain that's another frog that looks basically like Kermit, except he has a wart and he's called Constantine. A wart being the plot device that determines who's the good guy and bad guy in this film was really bad. I just... If you like Muppets, don't watch this film. Don't waste your time with it. Watch something else. Do something else. With that, guys, I'm going to give Muppets Most Wanted a 5 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good one. Bye, guys.